Get in the door, silent war, who's the first to speak? Speaking like a real freak, voice in my head, in my bed, filled with you instead. Mm. Hello PHS, I'm Dylan. And I'm Caitlin, and you are watching the ninth episode of Cougar Media News. Attention seniors, please don't forget to turn in your senior bios by 2.45 today in room 122. Sports physicals are also taking place on November 9th from 3 to 4 in the nurse's suite. If you are interested in taking the ASVAB test, it will be given here at the high school on Tuesday, November 5th. Permission slips are available in the guidance office and online at the PHS website. The National Art Honor Society is a program that magnifies innovation, skills, and scholarship within the high school art program. Intro to math student Connor Latour got an inside look at the possibility of the National Art Honor Society coming to PHS. Art is one of the more creatively led classes at Palmyra Area High School, with many finding time to make imaginative pieces. Behind the scenes, the art department has something big in the works. NAHS stands for the National Art Honor Society, and it is an honor society that promotes um, the investigation of the arts and um, excellence in the arts, as well as bringing art awareness to the community and um, the school. The art teachers are spearheading the project, looking into getting NAHS in our school like many others across the country. Well, the students at Palmyra really have a drive when it comes to the arts that we wanted the opportunity to foster uh, in a way that impacts students the most. According to the NAHS website, the program recognizes students who show ability and interest in the arts. Would you consider joining National Art Honor Society? I mean, maybe. Yes, because I am passionate about art and I want to contribute to my community. NAHS is still in the planning stages, so nothing is set in stone. Those having any questions about the association should go and ask either Mrs. Keener or Mrs. Heath. This is Connor Latour reporting for Cougar Media News. Thanks, Connor. Last weekend, four Palmyra sports teams participated in district events. Lily got a closer look into the Cross Country's District 3 Championship meet that took place on Saturday, October 26th at Big Spring High School. On Saturday, October 26th, the boys and girls cross country team got a chance to participate in their last race of the season, districts. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. Uh, my favorite part about districts is just the team and like coming together. Uh, my favorite part about the season was just hanging out with my team and going to all the pasta parties and when the girls varsity died, I heard football. Districts is one of the biggest races the teams compete in throughout their seasons, racing against all the teams in their district. There are a lot more people and it's also very competitive. Hill Hill was the best part because it's a real challenge and you know, it's good to overcome challenges. My favorite part of the race was the start when everybody goes out at once. While both teams did not compete how they would have liked, they plan to come back stronger next season. All the boys worked extremely hard even though we didn't have a great day today, but hey, we'll come back next year stronger. This is Lily Perry reporting for Cougar Media News. Thank you, Lily. Also, congratulations to boys soccer for their win over Mannheim Township, volleyball for their victory over Northern New York, and field hockey for conquering Donegal last Saturday as well. Minithon is just around the corner. Donor Drive opens today, and Emma is here with step-by-step -step instructions to register for the event. PHS Minithon is coming up soon, which means you need to start registering. An important step to registering is signing up for Donor Drive. Step 1. Search for Diamond Donor Drive. Once the website loads, click on Find an Event. Once it has popped up, search Palmyra Area High School and select the link. Step 2. Click Register Now, enter in your name, school, email address, and password. Step 3. Once you click Next, enter your fundraising goal, cell phone number, grade, parent info, address, and accept the terms and conditions.
Step 4. Check over all of your information and complete registration. You can customize your page to your liking and start raising money for Minithon 2020. Be sure to follow the steps shown and sign up for PHS 2020 Minithon now. We hope to see you there on February 7th. Make sure you register for Minithon. Just a reminder, there is a girls basketball meeting Monday after school in Ms. Heberling's room. Ben got the chance to talk to Dylan Hauser about a small movie he is making outside of the school called Real Men Wear Fanny Packs. Here's a little insight on the movie Real Men Wear Fanny Packs, made by local mullet-clad warrior Dylan Hauser. What is Real Men Wear Fanny Packs? Real Men Wear Fanny Packs is this film that I've been writing and just recently filming and directing. It's about these two teenagers who learn about their uh, ancestors as being uh, great martial artists and they're in search of this uh, powerful amulet they once held. What's your role in Real Men Wear Fanny Packs? Um, I am a flock member. I play the character known as Lloyd. He's around the same age, so he's a teenager, and he knows a lot of kung fu. I play the character known as Chip, and also known as kung fu. I'm a goon! So I'm a flock member that gets beat up by Calvin Seneft. Ah! Sorry, I just practiced in my lines for the movie. What do you think of Dylan as the director? Uh, I, <laughs> I really like Dylan. Can you give me one of your lines? Well, you see, I don't do many, like, speaky word lines or whatever, like, where you say the words or whatever, but I do a couple where, like, I get hit and I go, ah! Stay tuned for more updates about the movie release. This past week in Palmyra held their second annual Fall Fest. Nevaeh attended the event to see what went on. I am here with Maddie and Aaron, the senior co-chairs of Palmyra Minithon, and we are at Fall Fest. So what is Fall Fest? Fall Fest is a new fundraiser we started last year. Um, it's a way for little kids to come and meet different sports teams and clubs and then they can trick or treat and wear costumes and they have a lot of fun. So who are you here with? Girls Soccer. And why is Girls Soccer choosing to participate this evening? Last year we participated and we all had a lot of fun and this year we're hoping to have the same amount of fun. Uh, we're here with Palmyra Football. And why are you guys participating? Uh, we're participating because we love the youth. This is Nevea reporting for Cougar Media News. Thank you, Nevea. That's all for today, PHS. And remember, only 10 more sleeps until the long weekend. Thank you.